Hi everyone, Tiffany Tillman here with my first video edition of Q&A Wednesday, a weekly feature at simplytiffanystudios.com dedicated to answering your digital scrapbooking questions. I get a ton of digital scrapbooking questions via email and sometimes in the comments of my blog or on Facebook or in a webinar, everywhere. And it's far easier for me to just show and share the answer with you rather than just email it back. Now, if you have a question you'd like me to answer and feature here on Q&A Wednesday, I'll tell you exactly how you can connect with me and submit your question. But before I do that, let's begin today's Simply Tiffany Q&A Wednesday. Okay, the question I receive the absolute most, hands down, is, Tiffany, as a digital scrapbooker, should I buy Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Photoshop Elements? I don't know which one I should use. Are there major differences between the two and what won't I be able to create on a scrapbook page if I get Elements? And that's a great question. One I recently talked about with the host of the Digi Show. And in that question, there's a really important focus. Are there major differences between the two programs and what won't you be able to do? So in this video, I'll expand on the top three differences between Elements and Photoshop that are significant to digital scrapbookers. And to contrast their differences, I'll be using the latest Adobe products at the time of this recording, Photoshop Creative Suite 6 and Photoshop Elements 10. Let's get at it. Difference number one, boom. If there's one thing that sets digi scrappers apart from paper scrappers, it's having a brush tool at our disposal. Can I get a high five? Yes, high five, thank you, we all agree. Okay, good. Now, both Photoshop and Photoshop Elements have a brush tool, which you can use to paint, destroy, and otherwise make most anything you dream. This is the brush panel in Elements. Now, as you can see, there are controls to customize the brush tips fade, color, scattering, spacing, angle, hardness, and roundness. It's a pretty robust panel and works even better when you pair these controls with a Wacom pen tablet, for example, and the brush tablet options located here in the options bar. In Photoshop, however, this panel is on steroids. Not only can you adjust the basics of a tip shape like you saw in Elements, you can move far beyond those controls and work with many advanced settings like adding texture, which Digi designers use to create something like more realistic stitches, or wet edges if you want to imply that the brush paint is bleeding into other strokes. This panel is definitely more robust than what you'll find in Elements, and I think it's a pretty significant difference. All right, difference number two, the pen tool. Using Photoshop, I can create a variety of angled or curved custom vector base shapes, which is pretty nifty. A bow tie, a flag, a heart, these things are all easy to build quickly using the pen tool. Photoshop Elements doesn't have one. Oh man, there is no pen tool, nor is there an equivalent in Photoshop Elements. Sorry, folks. Now, is not having a pen tool worth upgrading from Elements to full Photoshop, in my opinion? Nah. All right, difference number three, layer styles in Photoshop, otherwise known as style settings in Photoshop Elements. They are the options we use to add such amazing effects to our layers, such as drop shadows and bevels and strokes, etc. Photoshop's listed styles include embossing, stroking, drop and inner shadows, inner and outer glow, as well as sateen, and the overlays of gradient and pattern. That's nine, count them, nine different style options with sub options galore. Element style settings include drop shadow, glow, 
bevel and stroke with limited control and sub options. Now, the effects panel does offer quite a range of additional prefabricated styles. However, you cannot adjust them in elements too much because their options are not available in the style settings menu. Significant enough to upgrade? Only you can decide. And that's it. My top three differences between Adobe Photoshop Elements and Adobe Photoshop that are also significant to digital scrapbookers. Are there more? Yeah, you bet your booty there are. And you're welcome to share them in the comments below. The more we share, the more help we can provide for someone who's contemplating which software to purchase. And you might learn a trick or two too. So if you know of any other differences, make sure you add them to our discussion below. Speaking of sharing, if you like this video, share it with a friend or two on Facebook or Twitter or wherever you hang out and then become a subscriber to this page so you can have immediate access to the next Simply Tiffany Q&A Wednesday video as soon as it goes live. Finally, have a question you'd like to see answered here? I hope you do. Click on the submit a Q&A question link and use the handy dandy form to send me your question. And guess what? If your question is selected, I'll send you a $10 gift certificate good for any product at my Design House Digital store. Deal? Deal. All right, gals. Until next Wednesday's Q&A, happy scrapbooking.